Now to the MTA and it says it's prepared to handle floods throughout the subway system and, and if you were on a ferry this morning, it was probably a pretty rocky ride. I went to Zeus reporter Reagan Meji has that part of our coverage. We're experiencing windy conditions here in lower Manhattan and we're not the only ones. How are you able to not fly over with this cello on your back? We almost just know. I think we need to brace ourselves. <laughs> There's really nothing you can do about it. Either stay inside or take your time. Now listen, if the wind carries you, you can hold on to me. I'll make sure that I'm, you know. I think I weigh more than you, so I think you should hold on to me. I got a little bit more. Junk in the trunk? <laughs> How was the ferry ride on the Staten Island Ferry? You remember the movie Titanic? When uh -huh. she was doing the flying thing? That's what it felt like. <laughs> Did you do the flying thing? Yeah, right in front you of did. it. <laughs> what was the ride like on the water? It was very windy. Um, yeah, it was windy, and I thought I was going to get blown away. This is crazy. And you know we're going to get some, oh! And that's what happens when the wind takes over. Are we OK back there? Are we? We had, a, we had an injury sustained with the wind and a flying Yankees hat. At least it was a Yankees hat. That poor guy feels so bad I right know. now. But it wasn't his fault. It was an accident. It was the wind. It was. It's so strong right now. And rain is also expected from Debbie. The MTA says they are ready. There are nearly 500 pump rooms across the subway system, and the MTA also has five pump trains to remove water. Vents are covered at subway locations that flood because if too much water gets in, the MTA will shut off the third rail, causing service disruptions. The city is providing flood kits, and they did so at an event last night in the Bronx. There will be similar events all throughout the season as hurricane season continues until the end of November. In Lower Manhattan, Reagan Meji, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.